Hi, I'm dating coach 16 Leo. Nice to meet you. I have a question for you. What do you do when you're dating someone half your age and your daughter is like three years older than that person? It's simple, Q laughter. <laughs> All you have to do is tell your daughter she looks like your girlfriend. I was telling her that you guys are like the same. I'm gonna say that weirds me out. That's just awkward. That is the last thing I wanna hear. Like, I don't wanna hear, oh yeah, my girlfriend is like you. I've been 16, Leo, and you're on punked. Why would you listen to me? Oh my God, who does that? Why would you tell your daughter that she even remotely reminds you of your girlfriend? What the hell is wrong with you, Big Ed? I don't know why I just go through these phases. I'm not too Baby, we gotta take this back to square one. You cannot be comparing your girlfriend to your daughter. That's some Donald Trump type beat right there. She does have a very nice figure. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? Stop it. Oh, it's so weird. <laughs> Big Ed, would you look at your daughter and be like, I see a lot of you in me. And I see a lot of me in her, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, never mind. All right. Hey, everyone. It's me, 16 Leo. And welcome back to another episode of Oh My God, What Did Big Ed Do Now? Yes, the time has finally come for this Oompa Loompa Big Ed to take his girlfriend Liz to meet his daughter, Tiffany. Now, if you haven't seen the tell all with Rose, Tiffany actually did come on a while ago and she met Rose over the phone. What did you see in my dad? I mean, did you really love him? Because he was willing to give me up. Yes, I really love your dad. Don't get a tone with me. It didn't really seem like it. Oh, I hit a nerve. Tiffany seems to have a problem with the fact that Big Ed only dates girls around Tiffany's age and she does not like that because who would really? Like imagine if your parents started dating someone your age and now you have something in common with the person that your parent is doing it with. Like, uh, that's a bit much, isn't it? So I'm really keen to see what she says and I cannot wait to get into it. Uh, but before we start the video, please uh, ram your ass cheeks on that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 400,000 subscribers so I can flex on my dad even though he doesn't know what that is. <laughs> And while you're at it, please do follow me at 16leo underscore on my Instagram. I've actually taken some suggestions and I'm going to use them this month. So thank you so much for recommending me things and following me. Oh, by the way, before I forget, if you haven't watched the first two videos of Big Ed or any of the videos I made on him, a lot of people were actually asking for me to make a playlist. So I did. The playlist is called Big Ed vs. 16leo and anything Big Ed related you will find on that one. So I hope that helps you. All right, let's go. Just a quick summary again. Big Ed, short Oompa Loompa man, met Liz, tallish 28 year old waitress with a kid. She initially friend zoned him and dodged a kiss like the Matrix. Somehow Big Ed bounced back and my theory is that TLC paid Liz to actually kiss him. Within the space of a few episodes, they went from awkward as hell to like bang buddies. Ugh. And last night they did it twice, according to Big Ed. Hey, pumpkin. That's already a no from me. Firstly, ah. What a way to start this. Secondly, if anyone's gonna call anyone a pumpkin, it should be Liz calling you that, or Water Malone, or any other big wide thing. Big Ed, can you chill? I just started this video. We made love all night. That was great last night, by the way. Mm-hmm. But -bo both times. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I'm just hoping that every time it's gonna be like that. And, oh my God. This man is way too candid. He's way too kiss and tell. And you know why? It's because he doesn't get it enough. So when he gets it, he has to tell everyone. He's got like that mental maturity of like an 18 year old and he's stuck in a 50 year old's body. But you can see how happy he is. And honestly, it's a little bit endearing, but he's also Big Ed. So it's mm. I just imagine him sitting down with his friends like. We did it. She let me touch them. Oh, boops. She let me touch them. <laughs> Dude. She touched my pee pee. I'm just hoping that every time it's gonna be like that. I'm just hoping every time it's gonna be like that. I, I just hope she's gonna let me touch my pee. Oh, yesterday she showed me a picture of her bride panties. She wasn't in them, but, <laughs> but she still showed them to me. You can see how happy Big Ed is, but Liz looks so much more reluctant when she's talking about it. This is really good. Yeah, this is a good night. Is he a good kisser? <laughs> I had to teach him how to kiss. <laughs> Is he a good kisser? <laughs> no. I feel like I have to train him to do a lot of things, but we laughed about it. Isn't that one of the greatest sentences you could ever hear? Hey, how was the sex, honey? It was hilarious. Oh, well, that is not the emotion I was hoping for in that situation. Isn't that a weird emotion? Like, how was the funeral? 
laughed my ass off. I thought you'd be crying. I did. I cried tears of laughter. It was hilarious. That would be a kick to the ego if I heard that. That's such a fear of mine. Someone's like, you're so funny that even the sex was funny. I'm like, Come on. When you whooped your ding dong out, I laughed harder than any joke you've told. You know what? Get out, Cynthia. Get out. Just leave. Then Big Ed says this amazing line. I'm probably the first person in history to ever to be able to break out of the friend zone. Woo! Actually, now that I think about it, that's horrible. If he's the first person to ever do that, and there are so many teenagers just waiting to break out of the friend zone, it means that the only time you're gonna really break out of the friend zone is when you're like a 55 year old man. Wow. That's a long wait. Hmm. Now I want Liz to be my girlfriend. Oh man, Big Ed's moving faster than Usain Bolt right now. He wants Liz to be his girlfriend. I just want to stress, Big Ed's known Liz for four weeks. He's out here like, Liz, I feel like I've known you all my life. It's been four weeks, but okay. You bring me food when I ask for yeah, it. That's because I'm a waitress, but okay. And you kiss me with such passion. TLC does pay well. <laughs> and now, Liz, I want you to be my <clears throat> girlfriend. Fuck no. What? We'll pay you way more money. You will? Yes. Let me think about that. Fuck yeah. I would like to introduce you um, as my girlfriend at the wedding. And so will you be my girlfriend? I'll be your girlfriend. You'll be my girlfriend. Just at the wedding. Not just at the wedding. Oh my god. Oh my god, Liz, you can't scare this man like that. He's gonna have a heart attack and poop himself. Poop, poop, poop. Nobody wants to see that. He got an emotional rush way too fast. He's like a little bunny rabbit. I'll be your girlfriend. Yes, at the wedding. <laughs> Oh, call the doctor. Liz always does that to Big Ed as well. You can just see the TLC money reflecting off her glasses at this point. Because it's never like, yeah, of course I'll be your girlfriend. It's like, yeah, only for the wedding. <laughs> Joking. But seriously, only for the wedding? Okay. Do you want me to kiss you? Okay. But don't make it weird. You better not make it weird. You sure? Okay. Look at that hot, sexy action. I'm never gonna keep me a wasted chance that I've been given. That definitely looks like a couple that's been smanging it all night long, doesn't it? I just hope I don't blow it. Don't worry, Ed, you couldn't possibly- I want you to meet my daughter. And he blew it. Okay, well. That was really quick. Okay, sorry. Oh, that was quick. Sorry. Why do I feel like she said that before in the past 24 hours? I mean, when you actually put this into perspective, it is very quick for him to be asking this. Like they just became boyfriend and girlfriend. Not even a day ago, like the same day. Real talk, I think Big Ed would do a lot better if he didn't try to speed run all his relationships. But this is the big plot of this episode. Big Ed trying to get his daughter to meet his girlfriend, Liz. The problem is Tiffany does seem reserved and she doesn't always like what Big Ed does. And she tells him about it. Tiffany's one year older than Liz. So the age gap for Tiffany is going to be a big concern. Tiffany's one year older than Liz. Really? She's 31. Liz is 28. All right, so I'm doing a little bit of a calculation. Oh, shit. It says it equals 29. Okay, well, I just Googled it, and 29 isn't the same as 31. So either Big Ed is wrong or my calculator and the whole Google website is wrong. I guess I'm suing Google. What a weird detail to get wrong. She's one year older. Are you trying to make it seem like they're similar in age, bro? Who are you fooling? You ain't fooling nobody. It says her name every time she talks at the bottom of the screen. It's just nerve wracking and I'm just anxious because I don't think that should have been brought up just yet. So Liz has some actual concerns, namely the fact that she's already meeting Big Ed's daughter. Like has Big Ed met Liz's child? Because she has a child. Anyway, Liz does accompany Big Ed to his friend's wedding. And I honestly wish I had more footage of this part because I would have loved to see Big Ed busting it open at the dance floor. You know, like that video someone took of him at a random party. <laughs> I wish he did that at the wedding. The wedding is amazing. Liz looks like a freaking model. It feels like I'm in a freaking model. And it's great. Hey, honey, how do I look? Like a freaking model. Whoa, oh, yeah, okay, okay. So it's good? It's so freaking good. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why, why do you ask? Liz lights up my world. And I'm realizing that she is who I want to be with forever. You've known this woman for four weeks, bro. She became your girlfriend, presumably, today. She's already accompanying you to a wedding, and she's meeting your daughter. Could you 
just chill out, bro. You're moving way too fast. You're gonna scare this woman away. You can tell that she's not comfortable moving at the speed you're moving in, which is ironic. You know why. I'm pretty sure you said the same shit when you were with Rose. And God forbid, if this doesn't work and you find another girl, you might say the same thing then. Didn't you say that with your first wife when you had Tiffany? You must have. Big Ed, yeah, just think about it, bro. So after the wedding, they go to meet Tiffany. I have a girlfriend. It's on. That was a good fight. Was yeah. Sorry, not too long. Liz and I are getting along very well physically. Let me just say that. Why you had to sneak that in? Huh? I didn't need to hear that. I didn't need to know that. Let's just say we're getting along physically well, if you know what I mean. Hi, I'm Big Ed, and we did the Humpty Dumpty sex move called the Humpty Dumpty. Basically, what I do is hump and then dump. Oh. Oh. Urban Dictionary, write that down. Woo! Does he actually think she's a literal child? Woo! Woo! You like that? Woo! 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 This is sometimes what I don't get about big age group couples. And I'm not judging, I don't mind. But if someone's like 25, 30 years older than you, the things that they grew up on are not the same as yours. So you wouldn't really have that many tangible interests, would you? Like conceivably, Liz grew up with Hey Arnold, Rugrats, and DBZ. And if you ask Big Ed what he grew up with, he'd probably be like a brown spoon in the 1915 depression. And I'm not saying that it can't be done. I'm sure people can adapt and change. It's just sometimes when I see things like, woo, woo, it makes me think that he thinks she's a kid. My favorite type of kissing now is when Liz kind of chews on my top lip and my bottom lip. It's really sexy. She, she what? She chews on your top and bottom lip. What is she fucking hungry? Are you sure that's kissing bro? I think she's biting you. You need to tell her to stop. Also for the record, Big Ed, this is not TMZ. Therefore, this is TMI. You shouldn't be telling us this. It's really sexy. It's the look that sends me every time. It turns me on. And I told Liz, I'm gonna put it in your butt. The expression is, I know you guys are disgusted, but we did it anyway. That's what that look is. Yeah, it's disgusting, but I did it. So they end up going back to Las Vegas to meet Tiffany. Right now, we're in Las Vegas because Liz agreed um, to come and meet my daughter. Now, initially, Liz did not want to meet Tiffany at all, but I'm pretty sure TLC was like, at first, I felt like you asked me to come happen way too fast, but we might as well just get it over with. Hey, Liz, Liz, come on, come on, meet his daughter. All right, hey, Liz, Liz, how about you, how about you kiss his daughter? Huh? Too far? Too far, uh, don't kiss his daughter. Don't worry about that, forget I said that. All you gotta do is meet the daughter, okay? This is yours, this is yours, Liz, put it in your pocket, keep it. Nothing really to hold out on. Plus, I feel like the last two weeks have been really great. Why, is, <laughs> why does he look like that? What the hell, who sits like that in a car? Plus, I feel like the last two weeks have been really great. Hey, let me just get into the passenger seat. Okay. Plus, I feel like the last- Also, what the hell is this? Are you in a fucking coffin? Are you tooting common? I feel like this dude is about to get resurrected at any second. He'd just be like, Phew. he looks like a bouncer in a car. Like if someone wanted to leave the backseat, he'd be like, I, I gotta see some ID. Tiffany has a problem with me dating younger women. And that was her biggest concern with Rose. Okay, so as Big Ed says, Tiffany's main problem with the whole thing is that Big Ed keeps dating women that are about Tiffany's age or younger, and that sort of aggravates her. You're not intimidating, you're very independent. You know, the age for me, it's a number. What's more is Ed uses the classic age is just a number defense, which as R. Kelly has proved, doesn't work. So Liz and Big Ed go into the restaurant. Tiffany's not there yet. Big Ed gives Liz a little pep talk, but this is what he says. I'm nervous. Yeah, you two are the same. Tiffany. Not that that's not a bad thing to hear from you, but it is a little bit weird are that you, you keep saying that. Okay. Oh, you're the same. What the hell? Liz, you are the same as my daughter in every single way possible. By the way, that was some of the hottest, hottest lovemaking ever last night um sorry as i was saying just exactly like my daughter no differences at all doesn't see any problem with this you know what i'm getting really freaked out right about now i just imagine them making love and that's not the freaky part the freaky part is during it big ed might have said don't call me daddy call me dad <sighs> okay you got this thank you there she is Ooh, they're finally meeting in a dingy Dungeon ass looking plate, what the hell? This looks like someone last minute painted the walls blue and mist. I'm not sure this is the greatest place to meet, but all right. Hello. 
Hi. Hi. Tiffany, this Tiffany. is Liz. Where we're staying is great, and we have the biggest suite you've ever seen. Okay. All right. That's not necessary information to anybody, but all right. Biggest hotel suite you've ever seen. Double king bedroom. Five do not disturb signs. Three box. Trojan condoms. Medium. Couldn't use any of them. Had to get the smaller size for that one. Did it twice last night. Big suite. Big room. Big Ed. Liz. Big boobs. All right, I'm assuming this awkward silence is because I've said something wrong. You just need to tell me which of that was wrong. All of it? All right. Walking in and seeing my dad and Liz, it's a lot. I'm afraid for my dad to get his heart broken. Again, Rose and Liz are similar, and they're both younger than me. I mean, I sort of agree with Tiffany. On one hand, I'm like, yeah, you know, she's trying to be a protective daughter because she doesn't want her father to get his heart broken. On the other hand, her father does go for like 22, 23 year olds with kids and stuff. He also has a personality of a rotten egg. It's not like he's this great man constantly getting his heart broken. He says things and constantly shoots himself in the foot and that's why it happens. So I'm like 50-50 with that one. Liz looks older than me. She looks rugged. Botox does wonders. <laughs> I'm sorry, is there a palm tree in this house? There's a lot of shade being thrown. Why are you commenting on her looks, Tiffany? Does it matter? Not only do Big Ed and Tiffany look the same, but their personality, whew, pretty similar too. The waiter's looking at them from the corner like, Nah, I'm not gonna take that order. Look at this. This awkward as fuck. I just want to see where it goes. I'll just break that. This is awkward. It is oh, awkward. It, it is. I mean, this is the first time I'm actually meeting a girlfriend. Really. Big Ed gets in his prayer position like, Oh dear lord, oh my god. Oh, I hope this waiter comes to the menu. My concern is with the age gap and the fact that you are younger than me. Not by much, but still. <laughs> you are younger than me. Not by much. Just by the way like three years, but you're not that young. Oh my God, it's never been clearer that Tiffany is Big Ed's daughter. Why are you dating somebody that's younger than your daughter? Like, that's weird. Because if roles were reversed, he would lose his sh if I was dating somebody that was 54. My max is 12 years. Did you see what your daughter just said? Her max is 12 years. She date a fucking 12 year old kid before she... <laughs> that's it, her max is 12 years old, Big Ed. She dates 10 year olds, nine year olds, eight year olds, not 13. That's too old. But yeah, I don't know how Big Ed would handle the woman in his life dating someone above their age, like his mom. Imagine if his mom, who I think is 80, dated someone 110 years old. Can you imagine that, Big Ed? Seeing a 110 year old man wake up in a row being like, I had sex with your mother and I liked it. <laughs> but I was telling her that you guys are like the same. Big Ed, why you do it again? Didn't Liz just tell you not to say it? Dad, what do you have to say for yourself? You guys are the same. He even paused as if this was the home run. Yeah, you guys are the same. Haha, <laughs> good job, brain. I'm gonna say that weirds me out. That's just awkward as f That is the last thing I wanna hear. Like, I don't wanna hear, oh yeah, my girlfriend is like you. It's just so f weird. Why are you freaking out? Think, Big Ed, think. What could it be? Oh my God. Oh. Tiffany, no, no, no. You're way sexier than her. What did you think was the optimal outcome from that situation? Imagine going up to your daughter and being like, you guys, I tell her she's like you all the time. What is your daughter supposed to be like? Oh, I'm so flattered that you think I look exactly like your girlfriend. I'm so glad that the person you're banging reminds you of me. That's great. The creepy factor just goes through the roof. Every, every other sentence with Big Ed. And he's just sitting there like, what did I say wrong? Dude, if it wasn't illegal, I would date you. It's just so weird. Okay, all right, I'll stop. I was, got it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna stop saying that you look like my girlfriend. I, I got it, I got it. Clearly, you don't look like my girlfriend. You look bad <laughs> And then Liz sort of joins in with Tiffany, which I don't know if that's the right tactic, but it's certainly interesting. Normally, I would think that the girl would defend Big Ed and be like, hey, but I love him. But instead, Liz is like, I completely get you. Well, I just want you to know, like, I don't blame you for how you're feeling. Yeah. Just because you only imagine if that was me, I, I probably wouldn't be happy with it, is what I'm saying. If, it, if, it, if the tables were turned and that was me, I would not be okay with it. If, if some old, crusty, circular-looking, old bag, trash-ass, Big ass human being 
Like, doesn't even look like he's ran on a treadmill his whole life. Where the fuck is his neck? If that person came and dated my mother, I'd be like, ugh. How you are, you're like all in, balls to the wall, let's go. All right, well, maybe not say that to your father either. Hey, I know how you is, daddy Oh, balls to the wall. Dicks out for Harambe, you know what I'm talking about? Let's take your long jong schlong and just smack her over the head with it. I know how you is, Mr. Big Ed, testicules in the vestibule. I don't know, very open relationship between father and daughter, I guess. I gotta be honest with you, I've been doing extensive research on father. <laughs> I've seen a lot of these on certain particular websites. <laughs> you could potentially get your heart broken. I don't know, you just gotta, you gotta slow down. But anyway, Tiffany's coming from the right place. She's like, listen, dad, I know that you love her, but you might get your heart broken. And I just want you to take things slow. At the end of the day, all Tiffany's trying to do is protect her father from heartbreak. And surprisingly, Big Ed actually takes Tiffany's advice and listens. And then he goes to tell Liz that they should probably work things out slower and says, I think I need a break which is such good character development that it almost seems like it didn't happen. Because it didn't. Psych, motherfucker. Of course not. I love Liz. And I know in my heart, I want a future together. There we go. I know in my heart, I love Liz since I met her four weeks ago at that restaurant. Ever since she let me lay on top of her, I was like, hmm, gonna marry that woman. I took her to a wedding. I even tried to propose, got down on one knee. She didn't even know that I was bending. It was very insulting, honestly, but I got back up and I was like, I'm gonna marry that woman. And that is how the episode ends. Ed learns close to nothing. Even though his daughter wanted to protect him, Ed is like, no, I'm gonna do what my head and my head require. TLC did give us a preview onto the next episode and it doesn't look good. I planned a trip to Vegas to introduce Liz to Tiffany, and she left me the next morning. No. <laughs> this is like the third or fourth time Big Ed has been like, oh, I ruined it. Every other day she's leaving, and now Big Ed's so invested that he's like, she's my girlfriend, I love her. And she left. And did you see that last shot? I know it's supposed to be sad, but that is such a memeable face. You can use that with literally anything. Like, oh man, I went to the toilet today and the pee came out blue. Dude, I just checked Uber Eats and it went from four minutes away to six minutes away. <sighs> I accidentally sent nudes to my grandma. <laughs> that's a memeable face, what can I say? All right guys, that's the end of the video. But let me ask you, real talk, what did you think? Did you think Tiffany was right? Was Big Ed right? Was Liz right? Because everybody has some sort of pros and cons. Big Ed does need love. Everybody does. Liz is well within her right to date whoever she wants. She's off age and she can choose. And Tiffany is within her right to be like, this is certifiably weird. Also, you compared your girlfriend to me. Ah. I mean, I genuinely don't know what's right and what's wrong. All I do know is it is good quality programming. TLC, you did a great job. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. If you haven't subscribed by now, yeah, the next video might actually be a bonus video on Big Ed, so I hope you're prepared for that. Thank you so much for sticking it out till the end. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I shall see you guys. Fluffs, anything? You have a futurist mindset, bro. You know, you're like a Tony Stark. Always thinking ahead. I don't know why I just go through these phases.